So we just arrived at a new co-working space um, that we're trying out for a free day pass, of course. And this one I want to show you guys because this one is just like gorgeous. That's where we're gonna work. There's some upstairs. Or like some couches. They got plants and the bar. And these are like bigger offices. So this one, I think this one actually has a like gym, maybe even pool. So hopefully we actually get some work done here. So I guess I just um, hired my first contractor. So there we got our, <laughs> our new employee. <laughs> We're expanding, guys. Um, no, so I, um, I decided to outsource some of the work, mainly with the reports to Sir Jay, um, which he's doing now, um, because it's pretty straightforward work. And I actually realized that I'm probably paying way too much. When did we start? At what time? Yeah, I'm like paying 200 bucks for like two hours of work, but that's fine because Jay is doing a good job here. So we just made a quick break for breakfast and it's now like 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah 3 p.m. and breakfast. But um, so we got this. We found this cute place um, and I just wanted to point out <coughs> How cheap food is here so we paid for both of these things combined 239 Rand which is like the local money thingy um, which is 15 euro 15 euro for two plates at a buffet it was a buffet you could choose what you wanted for two meals and it's a massive meal so Cape Town is just extremely cheap and living cost is just super so if, have, if, if you know, if you have euros, enough. yeah, if you have euros. So you know, if you if you ever look for a place where you can live at a beautiful place and for cheap, Cape Town might be might be the place. Yeah. And now we're gonna enjoy this. Wow, thanks, Jay. So we just finished up working here. Um, was a pretty productive day. Monday is always a pretty busy day for me because I gotta send out um, all the reports for client work and for the agency that's why I got that guy to help me out um, I also did some set up some new ads and optimize them for clients and I did some um, put in some work into so I don't know if I actually mentioned it so besides the growth consulting I'm doing and the um, and the agency I'm running I'm helping mainly two people well two and a half people um, kind of like talent management, help them grow um, as an influencer. Um, for example, Timmy Ham or I am Sloth on Instagram. You should check that guy out. That, that guy is just dope. And he has four kids, which are the most amazing kids. He agrees. He, the kids are, if I'm ever gonna have kids, I want my kids to be like his kids. Um, but that's beside the point. And the other person is, um, Yusuf or Faith and Cuteness on Instagram, um, mostly helping out with with some YouTube work, um, and yeah, got some stuff done. It's now seven thirty. We're probably just gonna find food and take that home because I still have a call at ten p.m., which is the result of you know trying to find time for calls with people who are in a completely different time zone in the US. Um, I gotta, I have two posts I gotta put out for clients um, later today and obviously I gotta edit the vlog because that's a daily thing. So now we're gonna finish up in this beautiful place. I also have a call at 10, 20, at 10.30 tonight. Nice, Jay has yeah. a call at 10.30 tonight. I don't know if I'll be awake for it, but... <laughs> you will be awake for it. Um, so we're now gonna head out head back, find food, no, find food, head back, and work. Yeah. So after we finished co-working, we kind of got a bit hungry, but when we got to the grocery store, we realized that that's close, so we went into this place, but 
they don't do takeaways and we have a or I have a we both have a call meeting in like a bit so we almost couldn't make it but then this guy <laughs> is working there um, the shop manager that's Ryan right yeah. Ryan working with this beer by the way I love that <laughs> and he just said we can take it out so now we can take it out thank yeah. you sir cool. and we ate and we both had our call um, and I scheduled the client posts but I haven't yet edited the vlog and it's now 11 p.m. so I'm gonna get to it so I'm gonna sign off this vlog um, make sure to like make sure to subscribe make sure to stay a good person make sure to click the bell button if you're <clears throat> well if you have you know some more time and you want to get a notification whenever I post yeah you might not want Anyway, a little more energy, Finn. A little more energy. Well, it's kind of hard to con like convince people into something that they might not want because you know. Wait, hold on. Here, let me. He's uh, probably just flipped. Uh, this is not recording anymore, but who cares? Finn is probably tired, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's been a long day. I turned it off already. <laughs> it's been a long day, so remember to click the subscribe button. I said hit the that. Like, I said that. And turn on the bell notification thingy so that you get notified when the vlog is up. Yeah, but what if they don't want that? Just do it. Nike. So after I t um, turned off the vlog or signed off the vlog, you guys missed actually a very interesting conversation. So Jay and me just had a conversation about what would happen if everybody's favorite color would be orange. Like, think about it. Like, will we end up in a society where we would, like, w would we, like, have to agree as a society to, you know, put limits in to the orangeness? Or would we end up in a world where literally this would be orange and this would, I mean, this already orange, but this would be orange, the TV would be orange, my hand would be orange. J would be orange. I mean, it's a scary thought if you think about it. Like, you can't control that. Maybe tomorrow, every new baby born, there's a genetic, you know, thing is happening. And they just like the color orange. <laughs> no one, you know, these are the things that no one thinks about. And no one talks about. But we as a society need to be thinking about this. It's the same thing with AI, right? Like what happens if AI turns on us and kills us all? Like that's a discussion. I don't see anyone talking about what happens if er everyone likes orange. <laughs> like as if like, you know, it's not relevant. So I'm starting the conversation. Let me down below in the comments. What would happen if every person's favorite color would be orange? And if that would be a good thing or a bad thing and why? And if you have a good argument, I'm going to feature it. And then we're going to have a real discussion and figure out this whole orange thing. Like, I'm not scared about green so much. Like, think about it. Every person tomorrow's favorite color is green. Like, it's like... Uh, whatever but orange i don't want to live in that world so comment right now down below what would happen let me know and we'll make this world know you know good night hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up sitting breathing doing all the things I hate a lot, but